My name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Abraham's Big Test. Abraham and Isaac. Let's read. God promised Abraham a son and from that son many descendants who will bless the whole world. But Abraham and his wife Sarah was too old to have children. So God promised Abraham a son and God promised that he will have more descent than the stars and the, his descent would bless the whole world but Sarah was too old to have children years went by, still Abraham trusted God's promise when he was 100 and Sarah was 90. God reminded them for of his promise. Sarah was going to have a baby. So 20 years, when the 20 years went by, still Abraham trusted God's promise. And also when Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90 years old. God reminded them of his promise and Sarah was going to have a baby. <laughs> when their son was born, Sarah was so joyful that he laughed. God has brought me a laughter, she said. So they named their son Isaac, which means he loves. So when their son has born, Sarah was really surprised and joyful that she laughed. So they, Sarah thought God has brought her a laughter. So she they named their son Isaac. The Isaac meaning as he laughs. <coughs> Question God promised Abraham a son whose distance would bless the world. True or, true or, <laughs> true or false? True. When Isaac was a boy, God tested Abraham by telling him to take Isaac to Mount Moriah and kill him as a sacrifice to God. Abraham was so confused, but still he trusted God. So when Isaac was a boy, God thought that he will test Abraham. God tell Abraham to sacrifice Isaac on altar. And Abraham was really confused because God said he will give their son and God told to Abraham that he will give them the children. But God just got when Isaac was a boy, God told them to sacrifice Isaac. <laughs> Isaac carried the wood, and Abraham held the knife and flame and torch flaming torch. Together they climbed the mountain. Where is our lamb for the sacrifice? Asked Isaac. God will prove it. Abraham replied. So Isaac carried the wood and Abraham held the knife and flaming torch. To the, when they were going up to the mountain, Isaac asked, where is the sacrifice? 
and Abram told him that God will prove it. Yeah. So, I think Abram has thought that he will obey God, even he have to sacrifice his son. Abraham arranged the wood on the altar, tied up Isaac, and laid him on the wood. As he raised the knife to kill Isaac, an angel called his name Abraham. So he trusted God and he obeyed God and he decided to. He decided to sacrifice Isaac and the angel when he was going to kill Isaac to sacrifice. Angel called his name Abraham. Question. What did God tell Abraham to kill as a sacrifice? Number one, the donkey. Number two, Isaac, his only son. And number three, the sheep. Number two, a secret answer. Don't hurt the boy. The angel cried. God knows you trust his promise. Look, there's a... I, look, there... In the bush, a lamb is cut by his horns. Sacrifice that instead. So, angel shouted to Abraham, that, "Don't hurt the boy. God knows that you trust His promise." And see the bush. There's a lamb. Red. Cut by his horns. And they told them to sacrifice their lamb instead. So Abram sacrificed the ram instead of his son. He called the place God will prove. Provide. Because God provided the sacrifice just as God has said, his promise came true. So Abraham sacrificed the ram instead of his son. And he called that place, God will provide. Because God provides the sacrifice instead of Isaac. And God's promise came true. We should also We should also Oh wait we we should also I uh, don't forget God's promise. <laughs> Question Did Abraham believe God would really keep his promise? True. We should believe in God. Yesterday, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye.